welcome to episode two. I'm your host, Joshua Swift, homewrecker. We are alive, live, and in your face. For today's episode, a flat cab heading down to University of Minnesota. Thank you everybody for joining. This is the Truth Movement. And I'm so excited and happy that you are a part of this. If this is your first time ever hearing of the idea taken seriously that the Earth is a flat, motionless plane, I invite you to stick around for a couple of hours, hang out in the chat, comment from the peanut gallery if you wish. We do have free speech. Yeah, there are a lot of moderators out there, but we all take our wrenches towards these monuments of lies and deception. part of the truth movement and you listen to Michael Moore and Alex Jones then I'm sorry not sorry to let you know that you're being deceived there too you're given half the truth purple pill if you will if you can't understand why this is important to me and those in the chat room, then I don't know what to tell you. You're just going to have to stick around and find out. At the moment, I'm waiting for my cab. He should be here momentarily. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're going to set up a table and invite kids into the realm of truth. There won't be too much bantering and yelling to try to draw their attention. I will be bringing all of my propaganda, all my signage. So let's get out there. And let's start this. I'm going to flag down the cab driver and we will commence momentarily, folks. Just one second. Just a second, folks. I gotta call this guy. You, uh, can you pop your trunk for me, man? Thanks. All right. So let's see how this goes, folks. all of our ammunition here with us today. Oops. 
little windy. A little windy. Got a little on that. Signage flies everywhere. Alright man, thanks for your patience. Man, Appreciate it. Okay, we're good. So how you doing man? Yeah, I'm living, how about you? Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I saw some basketballs in your trunk there. Okay. Yeah. You uh you play you you been able to get out there? Coach. Oh, you're a coach. Okay. Oh, I right on. Well, I appreciate your time. Yeah, are you an artist or something? Uh, kind of. I mean, I got a YouTube channel. Oh, you do? Yeah. What do you do? What, who are you? Yeah. You're authentic. Uh, I, I am saying? authentic intent, yeah. Um, you know Kyrie Irving, right? Of course, right? Your basketball, you know? Right. <laughs> uh, you know Shaq, right? Oh, yeah. They, uh, they've said some pretty interesting things over the last couple of months, huh? What, uh, what kind of sticks out for you a little bit? Oh, uh, who, which one? Uh, Kyrie. He ain't said much. No? I mean, what has he said? Uh, he wants to be traded, he don't want to be second <laughs> Yeah, well, we, had, we actually almost had a chance to get him and, until we signed, uh, well, what's his face? Uh, point guard, um, we just signed a point guard. Just oh, recently. you talking about Minnesota? Yeah, Minnesota. Oh, Jeff Teague. Yeah, Jeff Teague, yeah. Uh, apparently, Minnesota was one of his, Kyrie Irving's yeah, spots. Yeah, one of his teams, yeah. For the best situation for Kyrie. Would have been, would have been great. Right. You know? So you're on YouTube doing what? Uh, so what I do is, um, with Kyrie Irving had come out a couple of months ago and had a conversation with Shaquille O'Neal after uh, a finals game. And LeBron says, Kyrie, you think the earth is flat? He says, yeah. So he's like, yeah. Yeah, I think the earth is flat. I remember that. So... I'm actually part of a community that thinks like-minded like him, who does understand okay. that the Earth is indeed a flat, motionless plane. And I do activism for it regularly okay. in Minneapolis. Gotcha. Yeah. Interesting, man. Yeah. How have you been doing that? Uh, for about three months. Three, four Pretty months. Fresh. Yeah. What were you doing before that? Uh, I was a cook. <laughs> yeah. Big difference. Yeah, it's a big difference, yeah. You got tired of cooking? Yeah, well, I got tired of working for the man. The man, I know that's right. <laughs> you know? Fuck the man. Yeah, I got tired of paying taxes. Man, so you don't pay taxes now? You know? Well, I mean, there's going to be a time when that's going to have to... Okay, The IRS. Not right now. The IRS pit bosses might have something to say about it. Yeah, but, yeah. but, you, but you being self-employed, though, Yeah. you can pay taxes when you want to. Yep, yeah, so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So uh, and whatever you want. Yeah, right. right? Do you uh, do you get paid to, to teach basketball yourself? It's my own company. Okay. My own business. So I definitely I can I gotta I gotta get paid. Oh yeah, no, I know. You, you gotta get food, right? For my talents and gifts, yeah. So I gotta, you know, I, I pay. You know, I, I charge my clients. Okay. How long you been playing basketball for? Forty years. Forty years. I don't I, play too much no more, though. 
back when you could have called basketball possibly legit, right? Yeah, really. Not, not <laughs> you know? So I'm trying, I'm trying to teach legit. Yeah. Because kids don't know legit. No, they don't know. They don't know authenticity, genuine. No, no. no. Sportsmanship. So I'm, I'm trying to teach all the fundamentals of basketball. Yeah. And the heart and the mental approach and mental toughness and the commitment into the sport itself, not just show up and try to do a lot of funny moves and stuff like that. Yeah. Not funny moves. Know your role. Yeah, know your role. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Everyone's not Kyrie. Everyone's not Steph Curry. <laughs> no. You know, no, not. everybody's not LeBron James. But they want to be. They, they're wannabes. So everybody's wannabe. So I'm trying to teach them what you are. Let's work on what you are. Let's get you better on what you do. Yeah. Not make you do something I want you to do or what he does. No, what you do. But let's make it better, more sharper, more crisper, more smoother. Better results than what you're getting. So that's my that's my philosophy. Yeah, you and you and I are like-minded. I, I think both of us have found our role in this reality, and we just want people to get to that next level. Yeah, so it's all about planting a seed, you know. Right. So when you thought about okay, I'm gonna go on my own. What do you think about doing? Like I'm kind of confused on what you do actually. Yeah. Well. Uh, Not to say you got to break it down and sure. Turn, but I definitely can't understand what you do. Yeah, well, I, uh, I just, I, I can't convince anybody that the earth is flat. Oh, okay. You know, because, you know, the indoctrination is thick in schools that we live in a ball in outer space. And they it's, teach us some other shit. Yeah, they do. And so uh, I just try to give people um, observations that we can see here on earth. Okay. You know, like, have you ever experienced the earth spinning? Thought it was, I don't know. Thought, but do you experience it while you're playing basketball? Like, when you shoot a three... Do you have to take in the Coriolis effect? You know, like I gotta hit, I gotta shoot it three inches to the left because the Earth oh, is hell spinning. Yeah. You think so? You gotta you gotta take in the Coriolis well, effect. Well, every shot I gotta think about where I want to where, where I want it to land. Sure, but do you think subconsciously that the Earth is spinning? Oh, so no, you, no, no, okay, no. right. That's my point. So if we see the Sun moving and the Moon moving, but we are stationary. That's just an observation that I just try to um, yeah. put in somebody's head. Right. You know. Well, that's your when you say the land is flat. Yeah. The world is flat. Yeah. It's at a standstill. Yeah, it's at a standstill. It's not spinning. Yeah. I definitely, I definitely hundred percent behind that thought. Okay. And uh, with the Earth being seventy-one percent water, and water is always flat and level, how is it that we could live on a sphere? Where did the other 29% of the land mass come in to make it a curve? You know what I'm saying? So if more than half of the earth is water. Right. Um, like, for example, where are you from? St. Paul. St. Paul, okay. Um, you're familiar with Chicago, though, right? Uh huh? Chicago? What about? There's a video online of the Chicago skyline yeah. from the opposite side of Michigan Lake, about 50 miles or so. And the Sears Tower is about 1,800 feet, okay? Somebody took a picture of the shoreline from across the way, like we're looking at Minneapolis right like now. over there. Like over there. Like this side. Yep. That being downtown skyline. Yeah. But there on the other side, like Michigan. Yeah, uh, across right. the water. Oh, right. Yeah. And with the equation that they give us, 8 inches per mile squared, with the Earth's curvature, from that distance, there should be about 1,800 feet of curvature. So, like, the buildings should be at a, a slant, and your eyes shouldn't even be able to see the toppest tower, let alone the ones that are smaller than the Sears Tower, but you can. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And so I try, to, I try to use observations that people have an opportunity to see themselves instead of, like, saying the sun is 93 million so miles away. How do you use your target mark? Um, everybody is my target because we're all human beings, True. you know. So I don't, I, I don't, I don't uh, deem but myself as a. At all. No, not at all. I talk to homosexuals, blacks, Asians, young kids, old people, and I just really challenge the narrative that we've all been taught. Right. And through YouTube, having this community, they see my dedication to this, and they donate money. You know, like they pay for my Uber or you Lyft. Know. My viewers. Your viewers. Yeah. Now let me ask you this. Does YouTube pay people to get a certain amount of views? Yes. No? Mm -hmm. How many views do you need to get before YouTube pay you? How much do they pay you? Uh, you need to get a, 
about a thousand views to get to the fan, you know, quote fan base, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, you, you will eventually be able to get your subscribers. And so it's really word of mouth. You're trying to get yeah. your subscribers right. to share your information. Right. And so on. So the viewers pay you. Yeah, my viewers will donate like through. in all the material that you want to type in oh, you type on the it bottom. In the description. Yeah, you can type it in yourself. Yep. And you put down where you want them to donate money to. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah, man. That's so what I was getting to. if I would totally encourage you to investigate, uh, start your own YouTube channel and, and basketball 101 techniques. You know, I've already started one. Okay. But I haven't done what you did to get them to <laughs> donate money. To. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I just have uh, the video talking or whatever my topic is, but I didn't put in the description, donate here. Yeah, set up a PayPal and a Patreon uh, or a GoFundMe. Um, I have a GoFundMe account, so I okay. put that on my Yeah, definitely. Page. Definitely. Yeah, and you can and customize it. Part. Yep. So you can customize it and have it at the end be, you know, something unique that you want people to identify yourself with. Right. You know, like my name, my real name's Joshua, but some people call me AI or authentic okay. or, you know, you whatever. Put that on your, on your, you put on the name that they use besides you and Joshua. Yeah. But the video of the Joshua. Yep. Or authentic intent. Or authentic. Yeah. But, yeah. You, but you're definitely going to put that name on there as a catch to them to be reminded of you. Yes. Yeah. And one thing about the community that I'm in, we would consider ourselves in a truth community. Right. Most of us don't believe the narrative of 9-11, for example. Right. Now, you know, wow, that is so interesting that you brought that up. Uh -huh. Because someone just in life me on something I never, ever thought about. What's that? He says the United States was behind it. Uh, yeah. And that they wanted to trick us to believe in that. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Wow. Oh, yeah, three years later, actually, George Bush did a dinner conference on C-SPAN, and he actually joked about where are those weapons of mass destruction. Five minutes into his speech, and he's like, nope, they're not over there. Let's look over here, and then they're all laughing. Three years later, after 9-11, wow. they're joking about the so, lack of finding weapons of mass destruction. So that was his way <coughs> in around mm -hmm. alert America that we did this on our own. To an extent, yeah. To an extent. Yeah. I, I actually do have some, I, I do 9-11 um, activism also. Okay. Because it, we're coming up on that anniversary. Yes, we are. And uh, I do have a, a DVD for you to watch, man. Man. So. Oh, man. <laughs> Um, with with the, what you said it's being an inside job. yeah, nine eleven was an inside job. And, and so, what was their goal? What was the why did they do it? Well, you know the Federal Reserve, right? When you look at your dollar bill, it says Federal Reserve note, right? They can print money. Okay, they have all the power on Earth. Also, they want to control your mind now. Damn, you are telling me some real <laughs> shit right yeah. now, and I've thought about it. Yeah. And been reading on a little bit on the Federal Reserve and what the what the fuck that they're established for and what they're about. Yeah. They're about takeover, brainwash, yeah, monopolize, yep, uh, uh, destruction, but yep. for their own kind. Yeah, yeah, it is a, it is for a bloodline. Yep, yep. they're trying for to sure. buy. They're trying to and they have brainwashed us with the dollar bill. Yep. With those greenbacks, yep, man. Thinking and that we need to have a certain... They, they created a dollar on there and made it up. Mm -hmm. And that's the way that they can track people, too. Yep. Well, if you flip over the dollar a bill... tracking device. You have uh, the pyramid and the all-seeing eye. Watching. Yeah. Well, they're always watching you. Always watching. Always watching you. That's yep. crazy, man. You're getting real deep. Yeah. Me, well, I can get you even... <laughs> I can, we can go a little deeper. You're getting real deep, um, over, man. But you, you know, this is some stuff that... They don't talk about. No, they're not going to talk about. Talk no, they won't. They won't tell you that no planes hit those towers. Damn, man. <laughs> Have you ever heard that before? So that was an illusion. So what? 
may or may not have happened is what we saw, quote, live was actually pre-recorded, okay, with the airplanes going on cruise missiles. Because an aluminum can isn't going to go through a steel building. That you was know? the most confusing thing of that whole event was yeah. how that plane went through the building. Went through the building, right? And even Donald Trump himself uh, in the 80s said how strong those towers were. They're the strongest buildings we have ever created on on this con so on this how continent. Can a plane even go through it? So how, yeah. So it's called predictive programming. They give us truths here and there, but really what they're doing is they're programming your mind so that when stuff really does happen, it's not such a shock to the system. So they're kind of, uh, it's like what fluoride does, it makes you docile yeah. and more submissive to whatever it is that they tell you. Right. And just as long as you have, no, and no offense, man, I, I don't want, I can't, I used to love basketball in NFL. But when I found out that a majority of it is rigged through the number game of Gematria, I just can't watch it anymore. Nope. Nation of words on a, on a, in a sentence, for example, those words are going to correspond possibly to the day that it is. Okay. So like a news event for right. <laughs> And so if you, if you total up event that's going on, or something particular in with that game. So, they rig. Yes. Yeah. And basketball and the NFL are, the, are some of the most easiest to, because basketball is controlled by the refs and timeouts, and the NFL is controlled by timeouts and the refs. So you saying the end of the score is a message or some type of phrase or some type of something yep. if you use the numbers in the half a belt you just said. Yep. When mm -hmm. you said A was one, B was two, and uh, therefore, you're meaning that it, it it was something about the news and what was going on in mm -hmm. the world? Yeah. And it could play a part in uh, current news events. Like there's a lot of Black Lives Matter stuff that happened yeah. last year right. um, that corresponded with the cities that they were being played in or going to. Damn, they got us Yeah, they got us really... They got us um, real, really fucked up. With yeah. Country. And I guess, in, in separate from even understanding Gematria before I even got into it, for me, the head-scratcher was when Russell Wilson threw the ball on third down against New wow. England. Wow. And you too? <laughs> yeah. There was no there was... fucking way yeah. that that was even... Why would you do that? Anybody playing Madden would take Skittles up the middle on fourth down. Like, I'm going for it on fourth down. You score a touchdown, that's the last minute of the game. So, what's your take on that? Uh, I think that it was meant for New England to, to win that game, and he purposely threw the game away. So when you have just two or three people in on it, the whole team doesn't have to be in on it. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, like, with Enron, the secretary on the first floor doing information at the desk, she doesn't know what's going on at the top level. Well, she don't. Just like, so it's called uh, compartmentalization. So. Damn, man, Josh, right <laughs> yeah, now, sorry. Man. Hey, well, it's I just, right, I need that education. Yeah. Education is key, man. You learn something every day, but. Yeah, and com compartmentalization is really how this country and the elites run the earth. Is only a few people have to know. And if I trust you, and I know you're not gonna, you know, spout out the mouth. Then you're going to be given more privileges on Earth. You're going to have more power, and women. Don't they, and don't they don't don't they watch you for a while to determine? Oh yeah. And then test you yep. on what they tell you to see if it the word got out or not. Oh yeah, and, and they will tell you more. They also have blackmail up uh, uh, things to it too. So you'll be blackmailed into it. You know they'll tell you something about your family or your kids or something. I was real quick before I drop you off. So if yeah. I put my Go Bank on the YouTube channel, uh -huh. how do you put it on there? What like is there is there was there? A, do you put it on? Do you gonna just say go to my Go Bank? How was how was yours put on there? Um, well, you gotta create a, a you know YouTube channel, and then once you get a hundred subscribers, you can go live. Okay. And I I like to go live because it just gets the people who are watching a more intimate feel okay. about what's going on. Okay. 
you versus know, versus just going and playing the one that's already been recorded. Yeah, versus you know downloading it and uploading. Now I got a they, flat Earth documentary okay. there for you too. But now would they not? <coughs> now would they have to go and some? And subscribe to know when you're on their live. Do they get a, yeah. a notification? Yeah, they do. Yep. Okay. Remind your people to hit the bell. Okay. When you go, because a lot of times YouTube, depending upon what you're talking about, will see how you are uh, in real life. Whereas you could have a script. When someone hits the subscribe, are they paying? They not pay money to talk to mm -hmm. I need to talk. You got, you got this shit figured out. So, you well, got this shit where I'm trying to go, man. Yeah, I hope that it helps and. Man, we've been lied to. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get up. It's crazy. I just had this conversation with my buddy last last year, mm -hmm. and he talked about how they make money off our social security number. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, if you study um, some of that stuff, you'll actually find out that you can withdraw some money in a in a private you know bank that you that's have. What, that's what Ice Cube wants. Yeah. Ice Cube says he wants all his money back. Right. From his name. Social Security <laughs> number. Yeah. It's a million dollars back. Okay. <laughs> it's like three million dollars that you guys owe me for my Social Security number. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because you are uh, a part of a corporation. They've made money off you. They've made money. You're part of a corporation. From the social security number. You're a slave. Yeah. And they treat us like one. Yes, they do. So. Especially if you don't look like them. What exactly? Yep. And you don't talk like them. Don't talk like them. Don't, yeah, you don't have the kind of money they have. No. So what building you go to there, just, buddy? You can actually um, take a right at the light here. Okay. Um, and then just post up for a minute while I grab my okay, no problem. propaganda in the back. Sure, sure, sure. Man, great talking to you, Yeah, man. you too, man. Man, great talking. Appreciate I'm, glad, it. I'm glad I picked you up, man. Yeah, well. I like to learn. I like. I love to learn, man. Sometimes I get overwhelmed. I got a lot of information in my head. Sometimes I don't remember everything, but it, 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 will, it will come back to me one day. Yeah. It, 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 it'll go away because I got so much information, but it'll be it'll sit in the back of my head for a while. Right. And then when someone brings up something, it all comes back to Yep, exactly. And that's what I do here on the campus. You know, I don't expect them to go home and look at my uh, materials right oh, you away. you class you teach? No, I just want um, to post up right here. Oh, anywhere, right, yeah, and just talk with, to them. With my table. And, right, uh, and just start speaking the word, yep, really. exactly, man. Man, you yeah. a good dude, man. Hey, appreciate it. I'm going to check you out, yeah, man, do it, Josh, man. man. All right. Stay yourself. Yeah, you thank you, sir. You will. All right, I'm going to put you all down for a minute. <coughs> All right, folks. All right, folks. I'm going to have to uh, put you guys in here for a minute.
Can y'all hear me well? Hey guys, we are here. University of Minnesota campus. We're gonna be here for about two hours, hour and a half or so. Got our iPad set up, so we got some propaganda we can share on my iPad. And we got all of our uh, all of our signage here to disrupt and. I don't know how well it's going to work because it's kind of windy out. Not too windy, but I mean. Should have brought some tape. <coughs> Always windy in Minnesota. Can't ever be just calm. Always got winds. Wish I would have brought some tape though, because then the signage would be able to not fly away. All right, so there we go. Uh, I would have brought some tape. I think I'm just gonna lay it all down. Yep. Wind, wind, wind. Always windy. Minnesota. All right. Hey, folks, how you doing? Good. Hey, would you like to talk about the Earth being flat today? No. No. Okay. Well. Yeah, that doesn't prove ball Earth or flat Earth. So. What does the eclipse have to do with anything? Nothing. Nada. Zilch. That's why I didn't get involved in the whole eclipse talk. Because we don't have dominion over the sky. So this is a pretty popular corner. I was here a lot last uh, spring. They're just this last spring. It's just windy enough for me to not be able to really hang up these signs. They topple over. Maybe I could ask for somebody who's got some tape. You think anybody's got tape who's walking by here? So, next time I gotta bring tape. It's good to have my hands free though, right? Hey, 
Hey, gentlemen, how you doing? Hey, terrific, thanks. Yeah. Hey, has that ever crossed your mind that this uh, movement of flat Earth is going to pick up? I sure hope so. You hope so? It'll make it a lot easier to work with. Yeah, right? All right, well, investigate flat Earth, guys. The Earth is not a ball like we're taught. It's a pretty nice day though, otherwise. Hey gentlemen, how you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, terrific, thanks. Just sharing the news about flat earth. Pro or against? Uh, pro. Yeah. Well, I can dialogue with you and kind of show you that it's not round or a pizza. But it's round. Round. See, do you know how, like, <clears throat> they pick that vernacular, round? Round could be a baseball or a circle, right? Hey, let's play base circle today. You guys ready for basketball? Round? Basket round? How's it going, man? Basket round. Okay, I'll say hi to everybody. Bill Hicks Jr., last word. It's even going to knock over my camera, this wind. Bill Nye. How's it going, Bill Nye? Nicholas, good to see you. Hoosier. Donald. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out for a little bit. How's it going? Good. So you want to dialogue about flat earth? Yeah, Technology, they proved it was the ball. All right, man. Of course you do. We never landed on the moon either, sir, with Game Boy technology. <coughs> hey, man, how you doing? Say, have you ever heard of this new movement called Flat Earth? It's fake. It's fake? Would you like to dialogue with me for a minute and I can show you it's not? Or, or you just want to say that and walk away? Alright, that's your science. It's fake. <coughs> <coughs> hey ladies, how you doing? Good.
How you doing? Say, have you heard this new movement called Flat Earth? Yeah, I actually have. Yeah. yeah? What do you think about it? Well, I think it is. I think you're wrong. Okay. Well, have you actually looked into it or you just say it's wrong because of science? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a religion then, sir. You're part of a religion. It's called scientism. Hey, tell your friend about Flat Earth. We don't live on a ball. Have a nice day. Tell your friend. Sorry, I'm paying for my college right now, so I can't talk. Like. Everybody is doing well. Thank you for hanging out on your Thursday, August 24th. I don't know what to expect, you know, I'm just hanging out, you know. I don't know what to do. I had nothing better to do today. Hey ladies, how you doing? Good. Hey, good. Did you know that 71% of the earth is water? Yes. Did you know that it always stays level and flat? So who's more difficult to persuade, teachers at a college or military personnel? What do you think? Hey miss, how you doing? Hey, good. Is, have you heard about this new movement called Flat Earth? No? Would you, would you mind if... Boom. Hey, gentlemen, how you doing? We're good. good. All right, good. Have you heard about this new movement called Flat Earth? We're heading to a meeting. Okay, well, 
Investigate it, okay? We don't live on a spinning ball. You were lied to. We never landed on the moon either. That's always a tough crowd when you're at a university telling them that what they're being taught is a lie and that they could have an alternative viewpoint. Flatlander, thanks a lot. Hey, Timmy Lennard, you can come on down, you know. It's University of Minnesota. It's a free country. There's a lot of Minnesotan flat earthers that this just isn't their cup of tea though, you know. They don't, they, they hang out in the background. You know, speaking of hanging out in the background. I'm trying to get this uh, state fair billboard up. <coughs> Still looking for some help. I got links in the description below for the state fair billboard. Hey miss, how you doing? Hey, you good. Have you heard about the idea of the earth being flat and not a ball? You have? What do you think about it? It, it is? Have you like actually looked into it though? Or you just say it's false because of what we're taught? <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Good. Hey, hey, you want to talk about flat earth? Oh, no way. Why not? <laughs> Let's get mocked and ridiculed by kids. How you doing, ma'am? Hey, kids, how you doing? Hey, the earth is flat and not a ball like you're taught in school. Like, it's flat. No, it's not. It's not a ball. No. Nope. I'm just telling people that the earth is flat and outer space isn't real. Uh, you want to dialogue about flat earth then? And how we're being lied to? How we've never been to the moon and outer space is not real? And we live on a flat motionless plane? 71% water, but we live on a sphere? How's it going, man? The earth is flat and not a ball. I know it sounds funny, and we all try to rebel against the establishment. But this is the ultimate rebellion against lies. Do you like to be lied to, man? Or do you like to hold those people who lie to you accountable? Great. Does it does it scare you to investigate Great. flat earth? Because you're a conspiracy theorist then? I actually got a lozenge in my... Whatchamacallit? Okay, we got some downtime. The people have ran away from me. For the moment. Prize, good to see ya. Martin, hello, Wayne. Tim, good to see you. Thanks for coming in, man. Hey, how's it going, man? Good, how are you? 
Terrific. Hey, terrific. Thanks. You want a dialogue about the Earth being flat? Sorry, I got around. No. How about 9/11? And how there were no airplanes used at those towers. Boom. I have these DVDs. She didn't want to take one earlier. She could have. Wayne, hey, how's it going? Goldfish. Cheers to you. Flat Earth After Party. We are at the University of Minnesota. Right here. In the heart of Dinky Town. U of M campus. This is, uh, they started school on Tuesday, so we're two days into it. Hey ladies, how you doing? Good, you? Good, I'm terrific, thanks. Would you like to dialogue about the earth being flat? No, thanks. No? Has that ever crossed your mind? <laughs> no. I have DVDs that can kind of give you some information about it being flat. No? You just want to stick to your dogmatic view of outer space. Can you hear me all the way over here? How far can I get away? Because I have my Bluetooth thing on. <coughs> hey ma'am, how are you? Hey, good. I have some information about the Earth being flat. Would you like to check it out? Just going to give you a different perspective on what we're taught in school. How you doing? Good. Would you like some information about the Earth being flat? Hey, ladies, how you doing? Hey, you got five minutes to talk about the Earth being flat and not a ball like we're talking. They said they'll come back. Ooh, we got this one here. 9-11 was an inside job. Hey, right on, good. <laughs> yeah. Timmy, people act like the DVD is cancer. And then they'll walk away with a cigarette in their hand, right? So, let's see here. We got 9-11, truth, and 21 questions with NASA fakery. NASA... <laughs> hey, Miss, how are you? Good, how are you? Hey, terrific. Would you like some information about the earth being flat? No, I don't think so. No? 100% we live on a ball, right? Thank you. Okay, investigate it, okay, on your own time, flat earth. You were lied to, just like me. It's really hard for people to humble themselves and realize that nobody would ever lie to me. It's my daddy, the government. They love me. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. Good. Terrific, thanks. Uh, would you like a DVD of the earth being flat and not a ball like we caught? Okay, you never landed on the moon, man. You know that, right? Have an open mind. It's okay to investigate the alternative. It's, if you don't, then you're part of a religion, right? Gotta be 100 percent. I just want to make sure people are 100 percent about their idea. How's it going, man? Hi. Hey, terrific. I got some uh, information here about the Earth being flat and not a ball. Oh, is that? Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Yeah. What do you think about that idea? I think it's not correct. But okay. like, hey. If that's what you want, then yeah. I like support you. If okay. That's what people hey, I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, but the Earth is 71 percent water, right? Yes. So, like in your cup, that's going to be water, right? right. And it's going to be level and flat, right? So, how is it that we live on a sphere if water always finds its level and is flat? It's, it's also Right, so on the beach, if you're looking 50 miles over to the Chicago skyline, yeah. 
and there's 1,800 feet of curvature. Shouldn't the buildings kind of be at a tilt? What? You think so? The curve is so big. It's not, though. It's 8 inches per mile squared. Yeah. We're not middle. We don't see the curve. No, but you're very special, and you're built for a purpose. Oh, there's no question in my mind that that's true. Well, you are. I hope that you can uh, investigate that. I actually have this DVD, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's about 9-11. It is sad. It is a sad day, but same inside. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I actually so. <laughs> right? Alright, have a good afternoon and enjoy your coffee. It. Hey folks, how you doing? Good. Hey, good. Hey, uh, I got some information here about the Earth being flat and uh, not a ball. Good. Oh, it's not cancer, man. It's just another it's alternative. Not, we are even rushed. I know, but I got this so you can watch it like next year if you want. No? Thanks. Okay, well, we never went to the moon with Star Trek of Space, man. So you 100% believe we live on a sphere? Yeah. You are? Okay, so if 71% of the Earth is water, how is it that the rest of the 29% is a sphere? Um, honestly, I don't know. Okay, well, okay. at least you're honest. Okay, but that sounds like indoctrination, honey. Hey, folks, how you doing? Hey, flat Earth, man. Ladies, how you doing? Hey, terrific. Hey, outer space is not real and we never landed on the moon. The earth is flat and not a ball like you were taught in school. You would think that people who dress up in alternative fashion would be more interested in the earth being flat, right? But you color your hair. How you doing? Yeah, hey, terrific. I got some information about the earth being flat and not a ball. Is this like a mixtape or what? It's like five hours of information of the earth being flat. Yeah, I'm going on presentation and stuff. It's actually quite fascinating. Has that ever crossed your mind that we don't live on a ball? Sure, I've heard about that. Okay. What do you think about it? Well, uh, I haven't really heard much of their argument other than knowing that they exist, so this would be great to listen to. Yeah, I appreciate you taking the information. Yeah. So, have a nice afternoon. You too, thank yeah, you. Thanks. Hey folks, how you doing? Anonymous guests, thanks for hanging out. Lewis Hackett. Hey, be nice out there, Lewis Hackett. I de-wrenched, I, uh, I, uh, I, I let you free out of the dungeon, if you will, right? <coughs> how you doing, fellas? Hey, man. I got some uh, information about the first Beach is um is flat, right? Yeah. Okay, and so with that being said, if if a beach, whoop, I'll just take one thing. If uh, if a beach, you know, the water level comes up to one side, right, and a water level comes up to the other side, right. So it fills its container, but it's still going to fill the bottom of the ocean or lake and then rise up and then be level, right? So how is it that we live on a sphere then? So can I just give you an experiment that you can actually do right now? Okay, so we're standing right now. Do you feel us spinning? Yeah. You feel us spinning, right? Like you gotta go like, you gotta brace yourself? <laughs> kind of. Okay, but you see the sun is moving, right? So what if I was to tell you that we live on a flat, motionless plane, but the sun and the moon are moving, and we're not? You gotta get somewhere. Sure, and I got the answers right here, man. So, you know, investigate it. What's the big deal about in investigating an alternative viewpoint? So, okay. yeah, just check it out. Have an open mind. No big deal. Yeah. Right? All right. All right. Take it easy, man. Thanks, man. See ya. 
boom. All right. So that's the wind of Minnesota just knocking my stuff over. Love that. It's really encouraging. All right. Oh. How you doing? Good. Hey, terrific. I got some information here about flat earth. the earth is a ball, right? Pretty sure. Okay, well it's not, and you're being lied to, man. Do you like to be lied to? I guess he does. Good for him. Hey, just want to show everybody this guy here, just to let you know that we're also handing out information of 9-11 being an inside job. was an inside job. That means that it was pre-planned and those buildings were built to be destroyed. You live in a rigged reality, folks. A script, if you will. And everybody's playing their part. And that's what I'm doing. How you doing? Hey, ladies, how you doing? Hey, terrific. I got some information about the group being flat. Almost out of DVDs, folks. Yeah. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Hi, good. Thanks. Hey, terrific. Hey, if 71% of the Earth is water and water is always flat and level, how is it that we live on a sphere? Uh, oh, okay. So I can say Bible. What? I can say, for my answer against God and that, I can say God or the Bible, right? So gravity's a religion, man. It's never been proven. Tonight. Everybody's Superman. Everybody is Superman. Hey folks, how you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, I'm terrific, thanks. See, so I got some information about the Earth being flat and not a ball like we're taught. You know, has it ever crossed your mind that we were lying about that? Okay, well then, investigate it, okay? Hey folks, how you doing? Good. Hey, terrific. If 71% of the Earth is water, and water is always flat and level. How do we live on a sphere? Can you please help me? Because gravity's a theory, it's not real. If you believe in gravity, then that's a religion, that's faith. Right, man? I'm just uh, talking about the earth being flat and not a ball like we're taught. I'm wrong? Okay, can you prove 
What's your answer out there, trolls? Lewis Hackett? Just Google it. But I'm at a school. Why do I have to Google anything? All the answers should be here. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Hey, terrific, thanks. Are you on your phone Googling uh, Flat Earth? No, I'm not. No, you're not? You want to? I got a DVD here for you so you can check out the alternative idea about Flat Earth. About the idea of the Earth being flat. Yeah. All right. Have a nice afternoon. You too. Thanks. How's it going, man? Pretty good. Hey, terrific. Hey, has it ever crossed your mind that the Earth is a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're caught? No, well, I have now, and good luck with that. Nope, it hasn't. Well, darn it. That's Inception, folks. Inception is my favorite movie. I don't know about you guys. Hey ladies, how you doing? Hey, has it ever crossed your mind that uh, we live on a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're taught? Okay, well it has now. And we do. Because you were lied to. Have a nice afternoon. Hey sir, how you doing? Perfect. Okay, has it ever crossed your mind that we never landed on the moon? No. No? Well, it has, it has now though, because we did, and you were lied to. In addition to that, the Earth is flat and motionless. Oh, really? Yeah. You're not a wrong guy. I'm a geologist, in our department. You are. Sampled moon rocks. Okay, you said you've sampled petrified wood that they found in the England states, New England. Ladies, how you doing? Hey, terrific. Hey, has it ever crossed your mind that the Earth is flat and motionless and not a ball? They were drinking their coffee and rolling their eyes when they walked by me, so. That's what you get when you roll your eyes and you walk by me. You get the whole smorgasbord. Universe says, what would happen if a, a hot lady talked about flat earth? Well, that would be called misinformation because you're just using sex appeal to draw people to something, and that's not right. Just like how we have flat earthers buying views and subscribers over the eclipse to gain views and subscribers. That's not real. That's, there's no integrity to that. <coughs> hey, let's use the eclipse to promote a video where usually I only have a thousand viewers, but then all of a sudden I have 200,000 viewers in three days. I'm a Funny how there's only 20 of the same people that talk in some of these channels and there's 150 people in it and they never talk. That's weird. So no, I would not use a sexy lady to promote Flat Earth and I wouldn't encourage anybody to do so. How you guys doing? 
Hey, did you know that the earth is 71% water? And water is always flat and level. So how is it that we live on a sphere? Well, you can't say gravity because if you do, then that's just like a Christian saying Bible and God as their answer. strike folks when you already tell them what they're gonna answer with <coughs> but 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 gravity bro we gotta plug in our battery pack because our battery pack makes it happen Jan, hey, good to see ya. Shay Smith, Jordan. Thanks everybody for coming by. Nimble horse. Careful out there, Anybody else got a way to draw these sheep in who are walking by who don't want to talk to me? Got any uh, suggestions? Oh, look at that! I'm wearing the U shirt! We're a Trojan horse here today. D. Olson. Boom! We call it a Trojan horse there, D. Olson. How's it going, man? Just uh, spread some information about the uh, idea of the Earth being flat and not a ball. Okay. Okay. Good you, luck with that. You laugh and smirk. Uh, ridicule before investigation is the height of ignorance. So, do you believe that we live on a ball, right? Outer space is fake, man. And 9/11 never happened. It was fake. Never happened. It was all a figment of your imagination. Pew pew pew. Hey guys, how you doing today? Hey, terrific. Hey, if uh, the Earth is 71% water, and water always maintains its level, how is it that we live on a sphere? I'm not good at math. No? Uh, the Earth is flat and motionless and not a ball. How about that math? All right. Well, investigate it, because ridicule before investigation. years ago promoting the ball. Hey guys, the earth is a ball, not a motionless flat plane. Look, the ball. Would you be out here, trolls? Or would you just go along with whatever narrative the establishment's pushing? I think the latter. Hey fellas, how you doing? Good, how are you today? Hey, terrific, thanks. Good. Hey, I'm just talking about the earth being flat and motionless. Good. So you believe we live in a ball? Yeah. Okay. Are you on your phone looking up the newest uh, Flat Earth video? And another one. And another one. Who's your flatter? Brian Blazer! 
Jcraft, get a puppy. Hey, well, if you want to give me a puppy, I'm all about it. I actually have a four-year-old big black lab. He'd, he'd go crazy. How you doing, sir? Good, you? Hey, terrific, thanks. Hey, if the uh, earth is covered with 71% water, and water always maintains its level and it's flat, how is it that the other 29% can make a skew? So are you a flat earther? I am a flat earther. Do you have any information to prove to me that we live on a ball so you can get me back into the fold? Have you ever flown? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I have a picture of it right here. And that's a flat horizon. That's why we call it a horizon. We don't call it a curve horizon, sir. So if you just believe one idea, man, that's dogmatic and that's uh, religion. So. And gravity's never been proven either. Well, you, you mock and ridicule with your new friend there, but you won't come dialogue with me. Hey, let's mock and ridicule here because we both think the same way, but I won't stop and try to prove my point, which I can because I actually have a picture of the... of that right here, so... Hey, fellas, how you doing? Good. Hey, terrific. Hey, when you get home tonight, investigate flat earth. Because we live on a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're taught. Check it out. See a lot of new people out there. Good to see you. Thanks for hanging out, new people in the chat. Being brave enough to talk and talk about this topic. How you doing today? Good. Hey, terrific. Hey, has it ever crossed your mind that we live on a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're taught in school? Um, I guess I haven't really thought, I haven't thought about it too much. Well, you have now, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I have a DVD there if you want to check it out. It could help kind of provoke some alternative views. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, you too. How's it going, man? I don't have time, unfortunately. Hey, I got a DVD if you don't have time. There you go. And you can watch it next year if you want. Uh, this is about uh, flat earth, the idea of the earth being flat and not a ball, and 9-11 being an inside job. Oh, all right. Yeah. Hey, right on, man. You know that uh, I, I saw you smirk about 9-11. How is it that aluminum cans can bring down steel buildings? No, I wasn't smirking about 9-11. I was smirking about the flat earth theory. Okay. Hey, appreciate it, man. Yeah, I get that all the time. This isn't my first rodeo, so. Okay. Have a good one, man. Appreciate it. <coughs> How's it going, man? Hey, the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught. The earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught. Check it out. Hey ladies, how you doing? I know you, you walked by again, but I got a quiz here for you. You can point to which size the earth is, uh, the country is. NASA gives us two different sizes of North America. Why is that? Well, you walk by twice, you're going to get hit with a red pill in the forehead. We're getting rid of uh, quite a bit of DVDs here. It's encouraging. Hey, Wayne, thanks a lot. Wayne Wreck. I'm wrecking homes. That's what I'm doing. Citizen Z. Flatlander.
Icon TV. Richard Nixon's a fraud and we never landed on the moon. And NASA has been lying to you about where we live. Nixon's a fraud. And shortly after his stint in the White House, Nixon said, the American people won't believe anything until they see it on TV. How true that statement is. Folks, how you doing? That's why you're terrific. Hey, the Earth is a flat, motionless plane and not a ball like we're taught in school. The moon is just a light in the sky and we never landed on it. You were lied to. Yeah, Nixon said the American people won't believe anything until they see it on TV. The moon landing was on TV, right? Ladies, how you doing? Good. Hey, good. Hey, you want some? Uh, I got some information about the Earth being a flat, motionless plane. Has it ever never crossed your mind that the Earth is a flat plane and not a ball? Luna, good to see you, Luna. Hey, how's it going today? Hey, I got some uh, information about the Earth being flat and not a ball. No, you don't like that alternative viewpoint, but you like others? Doesn't make any sense to me. Have a nice afternoon. I should bring some hot tamales and alpha red pills to people. See what they think about that. Lewis Hackett, authentic intent. Ask, do you believe we live on a ball? Roger that. <laughs> I concur with your orders, sir. Standing at the ready. Appreciate everybody hanging out. We got about another 45 minutes or so before we will run from the authorities. Before they're on to me. Hey, miss, how are you today? Good, how are you? Hey, I'm terrific. So, I just got a quick question for you. Thanks, Lewis. That's Lewis. Credit to him. She's a flat earther because of Lewis Hackett. So, good luck with that meeting with your friends.
A universe ask, is the sun spinning around the Milky Way galaxy? Candy bar. <laughs> O'Shea, it's okay. I don't have to chat. You can block me. No, we don't play that game here, Osher. This is a different chat room. You're open and free to share your ideas and stuff. Just don't, you know, be mean to anybody. Keep it civil. We're all human beings here wanting the same thing. Hey folks, how you doing? Hey, good. Say, so I got a real quick question for you. Do you believe that the sun is moving inside the Milky Way galaxy? <laughs> you don't? I still have that tickle in my throat. I got some more lozenges here. So I'll post up later. There's a... Restaurants and stuff over there by the TCF Bank Stadium I'll go to. Hey, Plane, good to see ya. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Hey, terrific. Hey, do you believe that we live on a spinning ball that goes around the sun? Maybe. Okay. Well, I got some information that could kind of show you an alternative view. No? Okay. Well, the Earth is a flat motion of the plane, okay? So check it out. The sun is revolving inside the universe of the Milky Way galaxy. All right. Well, the Earth is a flat motionless plane. Okay. Then. Hey, man. Did you hurt yourself? Playing basketball. Playing basketball. <laughs> I got a, a, a lift ride here from a basketball teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Say, I got a question for you about basketball. I'm really a late front. Okay, I got it. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Hope it brightens up your day. Hey, Miss, how are you today? Hey, terrific. I got a DVD here that talks about the Earth. I got a ball. It's okay, man. Okay, that's good. Okay. So, you believe that the Earth is spinning around the sun? Yes. Wait, do you? Do you feel us spinning right now? Wow. Yeah. Every flat earther, if you're a flat earther and somebody wants to debate you, just say gravity. Gravity, brah. The earth is flat. <laughs> hey, how are you today? Hey. 
Oh, this guy, he, this guy came by earlier. Let's see what we can say. Okay, this guy came by earlier. What should I ask him? Hey, how's it going? You're back. So let me get this straight. You believe that we live on a sphere circling around the sun, right? If I have information that can What if we don't and the earth is flat? Okay. Well, investigate it, okay, in your own time. The earth being flat, it will change your life. Clearly it has for me. Because at last year at this time, this never crossed my mind. Lee Krentz. I do have uh, about 10 DVDs left talking about various topics like 9-11 and Flat Earth. Man, how you doing? Yeah, we're good. Hey, terrific, thanks. See, so, yeah, I'm sure you believe that we live on a sphere circling around the sun, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think we do. Okay, well, so, what if we don't and we live on a flat hole full of plane, man? What if your school is indoctrinating you into lies? Do you think that your politicians send their kids to the University of Minnesota or maybe a secret society and learn the truth? Minnesota State Fair coming up next week. Get something on a stick. Just about everything is available. On a stick. And then we'll be taking a lift home, so we'll have another uh, opportunity for... How you doing? Good. Good. Hey, terrific. I got some uh, information about the Earth being flat and not a ball.
pulled over all the time but they don't get pulled over I do because for some reason this reality wants me to stay right on track so that then maybe I could do this so I don't have anything holding me down right if this is your first time experiencing uh, somebody openly talking about the earth being flat I encourage you to investigate my claims I got plenty of links in the description section below so have an open mind start to realize that you're being lied to it's no big deal how's it going man oh yeah right on man appreciate it uh, no, I'm not actually. No, I'm just uh, handed out information that the Earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught. Yeah, does it ever cross your mind? Yeah, right. Sure. You don't have to just information. Yeah, dude, for sure. I have some very provocative information right here. 9-11 was an inside job, man. Those buildings were built to be destroyed and to propagate a fake war on other countries that have nothing to do with us. Sure, yeah. Okay, let's say what you're saying is true. symbolism that they're showing us. Uh, it may or may not be the Illuminati. You said it, not me. That, that symbol actually is. And we're live! Yay! That was a pretty hard reset. He ended up actually putting the DVDs down. He did not want to know about Flat Earth or 9-11 being an inside job, so he's totally in the matrix. He also ha wanted me to put my information on some kind of uh, National Guard list. Huh. Give me a break. You think you can fool me there, sending some 18-year-old punk kid to have me sign? Well, you guys already have my information, right? Like, really? Seriously. How's it going, man? Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm doing well, thanks. Good. Hey, if uh, the Earth is 71% water, yep. and water is always flat and level, how is it that we live on a speed? Not sure. Not sure? Well, I got some information that helps you um, kind of get to that point. No, that's okay. Thank uh, you, though. It talks about the Earth being flat. So you're pretty 100% sure that we live on a ball, circling around the sun. Okay. Okay. Probably. Well, then this information can give you an alternative perspective, so then you have a 100% validation Actually, of where you live. I watched the YouTube video about it. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, Thank you. you should get it some more, man. Have a good one. Yeah, 9 11 was an inside job. Those buildings were built to collapse. All right, well, no planes were used, and they were CBI'd on cruise missions, man. So, you can wake up, bud. Yeah, you laugh too, man, but you won't dialogue with me. CNN is your 
your God. If CNN just told me that the Earth was flat, and I believe it, but until that happens, I love corporate America. Hey, Miss, how are you today? Good. Hey, terrific. Say, I got a real quick question for you. Do you believe that we live on a sphere? Can I, you can both do an experiment right now. Do you feel us moving or spinning right now? No. Okay, but well, you see the sun moving. Yes. So how is it that they were able to convince you to push away your senses that the earth is moving but the sun is stationary even though we see the sun moving? Scientific facts? It's not a fact. And I can actually, I have some information here to help you to an alternative viewpoint and then you can have a better understanding of what Whatever else you're told, right? Yeah, but by mainstream. Yes, I guess. So but that's faith, right? Because you're taking somebody else's word for it, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, well, at least you admit that you love indoctrination. that you're not privy to. So does it make you feel I'll more... I'll research it myself. You said that if it was really an inside job and stuff like that. I can research this information. But once you get this information, it's available to everyone. Well, maybe, maybe, do maybe you don't know where to look. Though. I, can, I can try and find it myself. Isn't that the journey of trying to find the truth? Right? Yeah, so, so your pride and your ego is to the extent that if I offer you information, you won't take it. You feel you have to do it on your own, right? Yeah, I'd, like to, I'd like to obtain information on my own. It's not about really finding ego, it's just I like to get sure. my own primary sources. You sure? Maybe it, it sounds is. like it. Even you know, if it me. is, even it is, I'll try and find it. Okay. Because right. you will always remember this conversation that we had, right? Maybe I'll remember right now, but uh, okay. good luck to Chandu well, and have right. a good day. Yeah, we appreciate it, man. Stay away from the military. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. All right. Hey miss, how are you today? Good. Hey, good. Good. Hey, the earth is flat and not a ball, okay? Yeah. All right. Check it out. Flat. Motionless plane. Where's he even going? Now he's post up over at the bus stop. Not doing anything. Yeah, 9-11 is a pretty, I mean, hey, if he feels like he can find it on his own, or he even will, that's, you know, up to him. But I got information right here, directly, the bunny trail, the rabbit hole, if you will. That never ends, because then once you figure out 9-11 was a massive fraud, then vaccines, GMOs, chemtrails, and all that other jargon. How are you today? I'm very good. How are you? Hey, I'm terrific. I'm just sharing uh, some flat earth truth. I'm going to pass today. Okay. Thanks very much. Sure. Good luck. Do you believe that we live on a sphere circling around the sun? I do. You do? Okay. Could you prove it to me? Okay. Yeah. Well, then that's faith, ma'am, and your belief is on science. So you got to believe in something, right?
Don't be scared. Don't be scared. All right. Let me see something here. Hope everybody's enjoying their time, at least. I mean... Just trying to... Uh... We're live, we're back. Had some connection issues out here a little bit, but everybody always says, just stand in one place, man. The live feed will work. Well, it is in one place, and it still loses signal, so, you know, it's funny to get comments like that, and you guys don't ever go live yourself, so you don't ever really know how it is until you actually put yourself in my shoes. I appreciate the comments, but, you know, that's why I have a video about uh, a couple months ago before I even started doing this regularly where I apologized to the YouTube content creators. Hey, sir, how you doing? Hey, did you know that 9-11 uh, was an inside job? Yeah? Aluminum cans can't knock down steel buildings and... It was a controlled demolition, sir. Research Building 7. Check that out. 9-11 was an inside job. Insiders blowing stuff up to control your mind. Hey, Rand, good to see you. Thank you, sir. Ask how many buildings collapsed in Manhattan. Well, three for sure. I know that there's some other ones that collapsed around them, but Building 7 is the most known unknown that we don't know knew fell down. Hey, do you believe that we live on a sphere circling around the sun? Yes. Okay. Can I, you want to do an experiment real quick? I actually got a... Do you feel us spinning right now? No? But you see the sun moving. Okay, so how did they convince you to distrust your senses that we're spinning and the sun is stationary, but we see the sun move? Okay, well I got some information to help you kind of get the report. You don't want to check out an alternative viewpoint? Okay, so you're trusting in scientists that you never met before, right? Yeah, I've never met you either. Okay, so that sounds like religion then, right? Kind of like the Bible? Trusting in people in the Bible? It's faith. There's nothing wrong with faith, but just admit that what you're believing in is faith. I have no problem saying that I believe in the Bible. Believing that it was written by men I've never met before. So, the sun is moving, but we are not. All right. <coughs> Wait. So we're going to call up a lift ride right now. Been out here for, I don't know, an hour and a half, almost two hours. Probably an hour and a half, I think. So that's a good amount of time. 
thanks everybody for hanging out for the moment. Figured I'd try this as new. It's kind of a, you know, popular location. I'm gonna try another U of M spot down the road from here where there's more eateries. So where there's kids, you know, hanging out. Why that Chipotle in that art museum is a pretty popular place. Hey Wanda, thank you. I'm just one man, but I do what I can. I don't I'm not I'm not gonna please everybody on how I conduct myself, but I try to do it in a manner that's appropriate. Hey man, how's it going? So we got a lift ride coming in right now. Is that this guy here? Might be. Hang on a second. Hey folks, how you doing? Doing well. Great. <coughs> All right, folks, we are waiting for our lift driver. Hey gentlemen, how you doing? Hey, terrific. If the earth is 71% water and water always finds its level, how is it that we live on a sphere? Okay, ridicule before investigation is the height of ignorance. So you mock me, but you never looked into the idea of the earth being flat. Okay, for like five minutes and you laugh at it. mockery. Oh, my feelings are so hurt. They laughed at me. I'm going to go home and take my ball. Literally, I'm going to take my ball home with me so I can worship it. Hello, dude. Where are you at? Hello. Hello, dude. It says on the GPS where I am located, but... Still just drive by. Which is why I don't think I want to be an Uber driver. All right, you're gonna go in my pocket for a minute, folks. What up? Yeah. Can you pop your trunk, please? I'll show you in a second here. Here you go. I got some uh, DVDs in my card. My card is in the so inside. My business card is in here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so. Thanks. I'm authentic in 10. I'm doing uh, a video about the earth being flat yeah. and not a ball like this. Yeah, no, I've been yeah. so appreciate your interest and yeah. Yeah. I'll see you around. Okay. Have a nice Bye. one. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> All right. That lady just wanted to know what I was up to. How's it going, man? Good. Good. How have your travels been today so far? I just started. You just started, okay. Turn right on East River Road. <coughs> How's your shift going to be today? The uh, next one hour will stop. Oh, okay. Have another job. Okay, what do you, what's your other job? What do you do there? In the U, I just work cleaning. Oh, okay. You work here? In the Universal. Oh, wow, okay. Turn left onto Southeast 
Good, good, good. Did you watch the eclipse on Monday? No, I didn't. No? It was kind of raining, huh? Yeah, it was cloudy here. Yeah. Did you? No, I slept. <laughs> I, was, I was sleeping. Uh, I didn't even knew we could see it from here. I thought you gotta go to a different state to see uh, it. Yeah, I guess you could see a little bit of it here. It was cloudy too. Yeah, it was cloudy and raining where I, wa where I live. What do you think uh, about the eclipse? Is it, um, you know, what's funny about the eclipse is I saw some videos oh, you do? on YouTube. I saw a video on YouTube saying the Earth is flat because of the eclipse. The Earth, it is what? It's flat. It's not a ball. It's not. This is what he said. Video said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about that video? I didn't even watch it, but... You don't know? Yeah. yeah. Would your kids ever... No, they're too young. <laughs> too young? Uh, no, they're 11 and 10 years old. Okay, 11 and 10. Actually, my oldest just turned 12. Just turned 12? Yeah. Okay. Great. Use the right two lanes to take the I 35 W south ramp, then merge onto I 35 W south. If the Earth was flat, though, why do you think they would lie to us about it? Earth being a ball, why do you think? Uh, it's confusing me, too. If the uh, Earth was flat, maybe it would be no night and day. Uh huh. But if the uh, Earth was uh, kind of a ball, Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that if the Earth was flat, maybe they are hiding more land from us? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe more gasoline, resources, and water? Maybe. I see people in the flat Earth community. They do not have prejudice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody believes we are all one human race, not black, white, Asian, yeah. gay, straight. So it is nice to see a community where people are happy together. Yeah. But you still have drama. <laughs> people like drama. When did you start being a lifted driver? Europe, actually, about six months. Six months, okay. Uh, Uber, I started. Uh, you started at Uber? Yeah, a year and a half ago. Okay. Why did you switch? To better pay or uh, what? I still, I still work both of them. Okay. Sometimes I work at Uber. What do you like most about being a Lyft driver? To me, uh, when I work on the Lyft, when I get a request, it's not far. It's very close to that. Okay. Uber, they put it from far. And sometimes you drive far away, and by the time you get there, they cancel. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's Sad. Like you, you was about uh, one minute away from me. Yeah. That's uh, like, if I was Uber, we go to somewhere else. So. Okay. So Uber can drive many, like maybe 50 miles, 60 miles? Yeah. Oh, wow. Drive a lot on Uber. What do, so that's really the only thing that you don't like though, right? Is that's the, the only thing. I thought about being a Uber driver, Lyft driver, but I only have two door car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, and it's 2000. What year is the requirement for Lyft? Is it 2001 or 2002? 
don't know how many miles on it. It's a, I think it's a mile that is low. I think you could you could drive like a ten years old car. Okay. But the mile is high. I think they allowed only five years. Like to watch YouTube? Yeah, that's right. yeah. I was uh, doing a YouTube channel at the university. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you work there? No, I just uh, I have YouTube channels, so I go everywhere in Minneapolis, like uh, the park or baseball game, and just talk to people and challenge what we have been taught in school because yeah. I think it's okay to question yeah. is there anything that you have been told by our government that you do not believe uh, no, no? Like moon landing, do you believe the moon landing is real? What does that mean? Like the moon, when you see it up in the sky, yeah. you think we can land on it and have people walk? you a personal question? Sure. Do you read the Quran? Uh, I'm not sure. No, you're not? Okay. okay. What would you... You're, you're a Christian? Yeah. Okay. Um, because in both of those holy books, it actually talks about the earth being a flat, motionless plane. Yeah. What if um, you were to read the Bible in... Job 38.5 and it says that he draws a line across the land and so when most people think of a line usually they think of a straight line and so God is explaining to Job that he wasn't there being its own light source so you know how we're taught that the moon reflects the sun's light <coughs> but what is shade you are warm so it's opposite interesting how long have you been a Christian for I'm sorry yeah, like how many years did you believe in Christ? Since I born. My parents are Christian. Since you were born? My parents are Christian. Oh, okay. But but just because you're born into something that does not make you a Christian. You have to make your own decision to follow Christ. You know that, right? Uh, well, I don't believe that, but since I uh, since my parents are Christian, I born as a Christian. But I could change. Okay. So yeah, that's why people do it. So if you if you're in a parking lot, right? Uh -huh. Does that make you a car? No. No. So I just tried to um, encourage you to read Romans ten, and it says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will be saved. Do you remember a time in your life where you did that? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Like you said with your mouth, Jesus, you are Lord of my life. Please lead me. And I want no one else to follow. Something like that? Yeah. Okay. Have you been baptized? When I was... When our, our religion, 
Uh -huh. We baptize and uh, thirty days after we born. Oh, okay, so a, like we're, a, we're an Orthodox Christian. Okay, so you're like a Catholic. Orthodox. Okay. I don't know. Did, did Catholic did that? Um, it's a actually baptism is a choice that you can make when you're older and you go to a, a church and what that does is it symbolizes you going under the water like Jesus was buried yeah. and then coming out of the water as a new creation I think it's in first uh, first Thessalonians 517 I might be wrong with that but so I, I'd encourage you um, to maybe think about getting baptized right now as an older man You don't believe in that? No? Where do your uh, parents come from? East Africa. I'm sorry? East Africa. Easter, Eastern? East Africa. Oh, East Africa. Okay. Great. So are you Christian? I am, yeah. Uh, I got baptized about nine years ago, and I'm 36 now. Yeah. It's a great experience to be able to get baptized as an older person and going through that physical motion of being like Christ, where you're buried and then you come out of the water. And just from my uh, study of the Bible, it is quite encouraged for people who believe in Jesus to do that and go through that experience. Do you read the Bible much? Not that much. Not that much? I do go, I, I go to church every Sunday. Not every Sunday, but I do go to church. Sure. Can I encourage you to read the Bible more? Maybe start off in Romans or yeah. the book of John? Thinking about that. I want to read it. Okay. I'll pray for you. I hope that you do. Thank you. It's very encouraging. Which is why I talk about the controversial topics is because I do feel that <coughs> a lot of my human friends are deceived about the earth being a ball in outer space and space travel and stuff, so. Yeah. I don't like to be lied to. How long have you been working at the university? Ten years, wow. Yeah. That's commitment. Do you ever see yourself doing anything different? Uh, what do you mean? Like, do you... What do you want to do when you retire? When you have enough money to... Go back, go back to Africa and uh, I live the rest of my life. Okay. You're going to wait till your kids are out of school first, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that would help for them. I'm sure they have many friends, huh? Yeah, they have.
you gonna try to get another ride on the way back or? Uh, we're <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they are going in the, the towards it's Minneapolis, right. huh? Right you can take a ride, either one. Right yeah. Uh, Minnetonka, yeah. Kind of nearby here, yeah. Just gonna go to the store. Is that easy to find? Uh, oh, you gotta stay in this lane here. Yeah, it uh, takes like five or ten minutes to get one here. Turn left toward Wyzetta Boulevard, then turn right. Take a right here. Trunk and I can grab my stuff. Awesome. Well, I have some uh, DVDs that I have here. That's oh, okay. for you. Thank you. To help you. And yeah, have a good night. Yeah, you too, man. Oh, don't forget about that guy. Oh. Thanks, sir. Thank you. All right. You're going back in my pocket. Hey, we're live. We're back. All right, folks. Well, that was as it happens. We're going to run into the store and get some food real quick. So thanks, everybody. Jan, good to see you. Yeah, and boom goes the dynamite for sure. I mean, not everybody's going to be up to talking, so we can't expect it to happen like smoothly every time <coughs> but hey Ian yeah thanks a lot 